What's going on everyone? In today's video, we're going to be talking about dividing fractions and we're going to talk about the keep, change, and flip rule and what the reciprocal is to a fraction. So let's get started. So remember, when we're dividing fractions, guys, there's a very specific way that we have to do it. And I'm going to explain this keep, change, flip rule. So what this rule is saying to us is our first fraction, we are going to keep that fraction the same. So when I have 1 over 4 divided by 4 over 5, we keep 1 over 4 the same. We're going to change the division sign to a multiplication. And then when we talk about the flip, we're talking about that second fraction. So instead of having 4 over 5, we're going to take the reciprocal, and now it's going to turn into 5 over 4. And then all we have to do is now multiply our fractions, and we'll get 5 over 16. So when we're dividing fractions, guys, what exactly is the reciprocal? So the reciprocal, right? So let's say we had the fraction 1 half. If we're taking the reciprocal, all it's saying is that what's at the top of the fraction is going to go to the bottom, and what's at the bottom is going to go to the top. So the reciprocal of one half would just be two over one. Or if I said to you guys, hey, I have a fraction, it's two over one, and I ask for the reciprocal, well, just remember the reciprocal is just flipping those numbers, right? So now the reciprocal would be one over two. So when we're talking about the reciprocal of a fraction, please make sure you guys remember that we're just talking about taking that top number, bringing it down to the bottom, and bringing the bottom to the top. But let's look at a few more examples. So in our second problem, we have three-fourths and we're going to divide that by 2 over 5. And one very important rule when we're dividing fractions, guys, when we flip our fraction or we take the reciprocal, we never take the reciprocal of the first fraction. Never. And we never take the reciprocal of both fractions. We only take the reciprocal of our second fraction. So as we look at this problem, 3 over 4 will stay the same, but 2 over 5, that's the fraction we're going to take the reciprocal for. So let's go back to this problem. So we have 3 over 4, and remember, our division sign now turns into multiplication. So we have 3 over 4 multiplied by 5 over 2. And once we do this, right, we will get 15 over 8. Right. And I, um, let's see, we can't simplify that anymore. Right. And matter of fact, simplifying fractions, that's going to be in a whole nother video. So if you find this video helpful, make sure you subscribe to our channel and like this video and check out simplifying fractions. But let's get back to this. So in our other problem, another way they like to trick us when it's when it comes to dividing fractions is they write it a little bit different. So let's say we have a problem, and we're going to stay in black. I have 17 over 9. And instead of having the problem side by side, now they switch it to where there's one fraction on top of another. How do we solve this? So I have seven over, I mean 17 over 9 divided by 9 over 15. And I use that red um, division sign just to make it stick out a little bit more. So what we could do with this problem is we could rewrite it. And if we rewrite the problem, we'll get 17 over 9 divided by 9 over 15. And at this step now, it's a little bit easier for us to see it, right? See the fraction and understand which one we're going to take the reciprocal for. So now we're going to go and we're going to start changing this problem. So I have 17 over 9 multiplied. And when I take the reciprocal of 9 over 15, this is going to become 15 over 9. And my answer will be, let's see, 
255 over 81. All right? And another thing I want to mention before we wrap this up, guys, this is a very important part of dividing fractions. So let's go back to, let's go to purple. So when we're talking about dividing fractions, what if they gave us a problem where we're dividing a whole number, right? So I have five divided by two over three. So very important rule. Number one, we could, we could turn five into a fraction by putting it over one. So when I rewrite this problem, right, let's just go to the side. I have five over one divided by two over three. So anytime you have a whole number and you're dividing fractions, turn it into a fraction by putting it over one. Once we do that, we could apply our rule, right? We're going to keep five over one. We're going to then change our division sign to multiplication. And then two over three, we're going to take the reciprocal. So now this changes into three over two. And now we're ready to finish off our problem, right? We're going to multiply. And once we do this, we'll get 15 over 2. So when you're dividing fractions, guys, very important steps to remember. Keep the first fraction, change the problem into multiplication, and then take the reciprocal of that second fraction so you can finish off the problem. And when we talk about reciprocal, just remember that means top number in a fraction is going to come down to the bottom and the number that's at the bottom will come to the top. If you found this video helpful, we ask that you like this video and join us next time when we talk about simplifying fractions and how to reduce them. Thank you.